The Panasonic TR003C is one of the smallest CRT televisions ever made. This one is likely over 50 years old. It is in rough shape, but it is still functioning. CRTs, or cathode ray tubes, are incredible pieces of technology, and the physics behind them is really cool. This CRT is particularly tiny, and I want to extract it to use for a future project. So today, I am going to take this Panasonic TR003C apart and strip it down to just its internal components in preparation for my next project. But I thought I'd document it here, because maybe someone who happens to be working on one of these in the future will find it useful. Everyone else, I hope you at least find it entertaining. Portable, with a tape player, radio, and analog television, the heart of this little device is the 3 inch black and white CRT display. Who wouldn't want one of these? I found a few advertisements from 1972 that are rather convincing. Maybe the last reason for buying a tape recorder should be the tape recorder. Perhaps it's a reason you've never thought about before, at least not connected to a tape recorder. For instance, one model lets you hear your favorite TV programs, and another lets you watch them, because out of this gem of a tape recorder pops a jewel of a Panasonic TV. How to break the portable radio habit. For between innings, there's the TR003 that pops up with a crisp little picture, or down so you can play tape cassettes. As I mentioned, CRTs are very cool. Their function has the nearly steampunk quality that many inventions of the last century seem to have. At least for me, a grid of LEDs is relatively easy to understand. But a CRT functions much differently. In a CRT, a ray of electrons is fired through a vacuum tube, and the path of these electrons is controlled using a magnetic field. The electrons curve through space to impact the front of the tube, lighting up the phosphorescent coating on the inside of the display. The picture signal controls the magnetic field, sending the electron beam side to side and up and down the display 50 to 60 times per second, painting the picture onto the front of the display by spraying that phosphorescent coating with millions of precisely controlled electrons. To achieve this minor miracle of mid 20th century technology, the CRTs function at several thousand volts. Always handle and treat them with care. The vacuum tubes themselves are also fairly dangerous if they happen to break. I'll link some good videos on CRT safety in the description. Now we begin the disassembly. I found this schematic and repair manual online. It has some helpful instructions. But first, as always, let's begin with peace of mind. It's generally harder to come by later on in the disassembly process. Chassis removal. Remove four screws from the bottom of the cabinet and two screws from inside the cassette holder. Remove on off charge volume knob lift off cabinet top and disconnect speaker wires, external antenna jack, and external power source jack. Remove two screws holding picture tube top cover and remove cover. Remove four screws from bottom of cabinet holding tape recorder. Remove two screws in spring holding picture tube block. Remove two screws holding side control. Remove 
remove four screws holding printed circuit board directly below picture tube block. But first, I had to remove a grounding wire. Then I can remove the four screws. Remove four screws holding the remaining printed circuit board. Remove three screws holding volume tuning controls. Remove chassis from the cabinet. Because of a few wires and a switch, I also had to remove four screws holding the central metal brackets in place. Then I was able to lift out the entire chassis with some difficulty. So here we have the fully disassembled Panasonic TR003C. It still works in its disassembled state. Now, for the next project I want to remove a lot of these circuit boards and keep just what is required to run the CRT. But I will leave that for the next video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. There are also instructions for extracting the CRT itself. I won't be doing that today, but here are the instructions. Picture tube removal. Follow chassis removal procedure and remove high voltage anode lead, picture tube socket and yoke from the picture tube. And remove four screws holding front cover and one screw holding picture tube retaining bracket. Remove picture tube, do not lift picture tube by the neck of the tube.